Welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 2. We are still doing the Project Overlord DLC pack, and at this point I'm basically just randomly choosing characters in order to play through, because I don't want to play through as the same characters in each leg of this mission. And here we are, still using the Hammerhead. In this part of the mission, we're going to have to really take advantage of the Hammerhead's combat abilities and see how that's going to work out for us. Okay, we lost contact with him again, but at least we know where we are and what we have to do. You see these little things? There are shields covering shield generators. And that big thing is what we're going to have to get through. That's a big, powerful shield that we do not have a chance in hell of breaking through. So we got to use that thing, which is an automated defense system, which will find a fire, a big, powerful cannon, to disable the shields covering its shield generators. Now we can just blast through these shield generators with the missiles on board that hammerhead, but it takes too long, it's hard, it takes forever, and you gotta watch out because this big cannon will just blast you to hell. See what happens? Bam. You can actually use that cannon to destroy the generators themselves once the shield is gone. So I'm just gonna stand here, wait for the cannon to drift over, target this area, and once everything turns red, get the hell out of the way. And then come back and blast the shield generator, or let the thing's defense cannon destroy the shield generators for you. Now we have one left. Get out of the way. Boom. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, it destroyed itself. Now just target the cannon and shoot the shit out of it. Do not stay in one place because remember it will destroy you. Boom, we got it. Now we can land on the platform and enter the base. No more targets. Now, this is an area that is intended for you to drive around here inside the Hammerhead. Let's take a little look on the area around outside. You'd see that, like, the textures and everything are a little bit lacking. You're not as good as what you're going to see indoors or outdoors in an area where you're expected to wander around on foot. That's because they didn't put as much effort or detail into these areas because you're not supposed to look at them up close. You're supposed to admire them from afar. Oh, jeez. That's a death crime. Those things are lethal. Good thing it's covered up in that shield. We can't get at us. Just as a little bit of a reminder what we're doing here. Project Overlord, which is a Cerberus mission in order to build a virtual intelligence to build a VI up into an AI which could control Geth impulses and be able to essentially force the Geth to become like slaves, weapons, you know, to fight on behalf of Cerberus. Fortunately, it didn't work. The AI went out of control, killed everybody on the outpost. So, you know, that's what's happened. Now, where we are right now is a crashed Geth ship. I don't know how long it's been here, but it's been here for a while. And they've been experimenting on the Geth. Stay positive, bro. Stay positive. I had this weird little error. 
that occurred when I went. Oh, well, not here. It'll happen in a minute. Stupid camera. Camera. Now, Mass Effect 2, like Mass Effect before, and I'm sure Mass Effect 3 will have. Well, it has its share of bugs. Look at this. How the hell did this happen? Why the hell is Shepard floating around in the air? How did we get down? The answer is, you don't. You're stuck. So I had to reload the game. This part of the mission is really boring because, as you can see, nothing is happening. There are no Geth here. <laughs> there are no Geth, there are no Loki, there are no anything. We're just running around. And the thing is hurting us from room to room. Just like that guy. That was eventually killed by the VI had to deal with. It was hurting them from the mirror. Okay, what we have here is a puzzle. Not that good of a puzzle, but a puzzle nonetheless. We gotta do is use these controls in order to build a bridge from one side to the other. Now, that is not a terribly difficult thing to do. In fact, it's actually quite easy. The only thing is, there's a chance that you could use this to access a little secret thing with some extra stuff that you can get. I'm not going to bother doing that. They're not really that good of items, if I recall correctly, and no one really cares. So we're just going to try and get through here. There, I just did it simple puzzle. Make a walkway. Now these are the items that you would have gotten. Nothing in significance. And here's the manual switch. the catch. I knew this was too easy. Come on, let's move. Now we've gone and done it. We woke up the Geth. Ordinarily I wouldn't try hacking a computer during a Geth attack, but eh, we'll be fine. We just have to rush out of here. We're going to leave the exact same way that we came in. Listen to that PA saying that this accident, or whatever they called it, is classified. And you're not allowed to disclose this to anybody outside of the company. It's outside, commanded by your confidentiality agreement. Which means I would not want to work the servers. No, I thought he was a get. Your 
up. We've been fighting Geth a lot in this game. And it made a lot of sense back in the first Mass Effect because the Geth were a large part of the uh, forces of the antagonist. But in this case, they really aren't much in the way of a Geth threat. Like, remember in the first game, Saren was using an army of Geth as his uh, foot soldiers in order to fight his war on the Citadel. Whereas, in this case, the Geth really don't have any connection anymore to the... don't really hold a connection anymore to the forces of the Reapers. But we end up fighting them in a few different places anyway, which doesn't really make a whole lot of sense in this case. The only reason why it does is because they're being controlled by the VI. Because remember, if you think about earlier, the Geth heretics, the ones that sided with the Reapers, have all been destroyed at this point, and the normal Geth are loyal to Commander Shepard. Now these Geth are under the control of the VI, so they're like outside of both spheres of influence. So, uh, outside of this, we really shouldn't be encountering Geth that want to kill us. Of course, it's just a video game and some little errors are going to be happening. So, yeah, we'll occasionally run across the Geth needs to die. I'd gotten turned around a little bit there. What time is it? It's prime time. This Geth Prime kind of works as a little bit of a boss at this point in the mission. It makes for kind of a piss poor boss because a Geth Prime, although they can be tough, are not exactly the most invincible or indestructible enemies. The only reason why this is really difficult is because you have to watch out for all the extra Geth running around. You can't just focus on the Prime, because all the regular Geth hunters and soldiers and all that are going to flank you. So I'm going to be focusing on the little Geth first, and then focus on the Prime after that. Can't hit him. I'll take it. Bam! Teach these Geth a lesson. Huh. Made you my bitch. And that'll be it. Now that concludes this portion of the Overlord DLC, so come out for the next one and we'll have the conclusion.